Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about best practices. In many companies, I would even venture to say in most companies, managers are often encouraged to find out the best practices in their field or in their subject and bring those, implement those to the company and the way they operate and that way achieve competitive advantage. But are these best practices really such a good thing? When we examine what creates actual competitive advantage, we can, for example, take heed from the resource-based view, which has four criteria, four, four criteria called RIN. The RIN criteria are that for a capability to be able to create competitive advantage, it has to be first valuable, so okay, it has to do something actually useful. Another thing, it has to be rare. So not everyone can have this. If everyone had this, and then, well, okay, you won't have any advantage. Third, it has to be inimitable. So it cannot be such that it's really easy for competition to create that capability, even if they don't have it, and even if it's not ready to be purchased in the market. But if they can create it really fast, then again, you don't have that much of an advantage. And fourth, they have to be non-substitutable. Uh, if a capability is substitutable, then that means that, okay, you have this capability and the com competitor is not able to do it exactly like you do, but they can create an alternative route and still get as good of a result. So again, you're rendered to have no advantage at all. And then when you take a look at best practices, and if best practices are something that are well known, widely spread throughout the industry, that already shows that they can never be green capabilities. They're probably not rare, they're definitely not inimitable, so they are never able to really create a competitive advantage for you. And that's a bit of a problem with adapting best practices. If you only adapt best practices, you're actually never going to be really good. That's not to say that best practices are completely useless, mind you. For example, if you have a competitor that's ahead of you and you're able to copy what they do and bring, bring yourself to the same level, then that might be actually useful. Likewise, if you do industry benchmarking and you find out how different companies have solved their problems, you might be able to adjust those solutions and create a unique solution for your environment and bring that in. But then that's not just copying the best practice, that's learning from seeing what others have done. So a little bit different. In this sense, context matters. You cannot just import things that others have done and achieve greatness. You have to adjust them to exactly the environment that you're in. And here we come to the point of, okay, so what does create competitive advantage? If it's not copying best practices, it's rather creating what's called signature processes. So things that are your unique way of doing things. And that's how you can create an advantage when you do things in a unique way that others don't have and others are not able to copy. A word of warning. It's a common, common phenomenon that people take a look at very successful companies and then they say, okay, they have a unique way of doing this and a unique way of doing that. We should try to copy these and adapt these into, into what we do in order to be as good as they are. But that's mis mistaken thinking. Simply because some successful company is doing something different doesn't mean that they are successful because they are doing that thing differently. They are undoubtedly successful because of some of the things that they do differently. But some of the things that they do differently might as well be a hindrance to them. And if you just copy these things from companies that are successful, you may end up copying the wrong things that they do differently and actually not end up being successful at all. So again, context is the key. Signature processes and best practices are very useful when it comes to lean thinking as well. Uh, we know that Toyota has been very open about what lean is and how they have come up with this management philosophy and also how they are using it and what their practices are in their, in their car factories. And why can they be so open about it? 
because they are not afraid of being copied. Because the lean improvement culture is a ring type of capability within Toyota. Anyone can copy their use of flow racks or water spiders, any of these things, or the lean toolkit. You can, you can copy things like A3 reports, you can copy things like PDSA cycle. But unless you copy the way to learn and the way to really use this for improvement, if you just copy the tools and the methods that they're currently using, you're never going to reach them. So, best practices, not that best after all. Scary. Well, that was my lean thought for today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. For more thoughts on lean strategy and business, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.